besties welcome back to another video on my channel my name is Asintunko Pozi and today I'll really just be taking you through my skincare routine what products I use how I use them and when I started using them and before I get into the video I just want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video I haven't been doing a paid promo um, to do it it's just really just a chit chat it's just organic conversation um, so yeah, so I first want to let you know what products I used to use before I started using the skincare range When I was in high school up until early varsity, I used to use Cetaphil products um, I used to use the Cetaphil um, Cleanser and the moisturizer Did you see that those purple um, packaging, you know and with Cetaphil, what I experienced was that it doesn't really, it's just maintained your skin as it is, right? It's very gentle on the skin. It's for sensitive skin, um, but it just maintains your skin as it is. All it does is that it cleanses your skin well and it moisturizes your skin well and it keeps you hydrated for the whole day. I remember that the moisturizer used to have like an SPF 15, which is really not enough. I mean, you need like maybe like SPF 50. But that yeah that was the that, that was the skincare range then i used to use um sunscreen um every single day so what i experienced with cetaphil was that it doesn't it just kept your skin normal right so it didn't make your skin better or it didn't make your skin worse it just kept it as it is just normal normal stuff right so um when i was done with varsity um i started using la roche posay skincare range and um, in a nutshell, I find that it's just so comfortable on the skin. It's so smooth on the skin, so gentle. And it really is catered for like, you know, like sensitive skin. And I have sensitive skin and I, I really, really love the skincare range. I mean, it's my go-to. You're like, it's the hill I'm willing to die on. I started using the skincare range in October 2021. And I'm still using it up until today. So this is what I first use, right? So in the morning, um, I will go to gym and I'm super, super sweaty. I come back and I hop into the shower and then and then I'll use this face wash. It's called the Effaclar Purifying Firming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin. It is so smooth on the skin. Like I just love it when it mixes with water. It's not too foamy, but it's just the right amount of foam and it's just so gentle and I cleanse it. I feel so clean and fresh after using it. And then after that, I will let my skin air dry. I don't use a towel unless I'm really, really in a rush. I will let my skin air dry. And then after letting my skin air dry, um, I will use the serum. Yeah, like serums. I'm so in love with like serums and eye, eye creams. Just like skincare as a whole. I'm obsessed. Masks. It's just that with masks, um, it's a lot of work to do a mask. Especially those homemade masks with oats, yogurt, oatmeal, honey, um, sugar um charcoal oh the charcoal one is worse because it just makes the sink and the whole bathroom so dirty when you're rinsing it off so i'm really a big fan of masks but because it's just like so much work you know what i mean but masks are cool they cool they make you feel so pampered and just so soft like it's just serving self-care it's giving self-care so i use this serum it's called the Effaclar serum daily peeling it's got yeah, like it's really, really also like so comfortable on the skin. I really like it. It's so smooth. With serums, drinking some chamomile tea. With serums, you are really only supposed to use a serum um, at night um, with eye creams as well because you know you let, you're letting them work on your skin overnight. And I don't think you're even supposed to be exposed to the sun while you're wearing these serums and stuff like that. Um, unless you're wearing a vitamin C serum, which, which is specifically for brightening your skin. Um, but I will wear it if I know that I'm not going to be like exposed to the sun and I'm not going to be like outside and stuff. But if I'm going to be indoors, I'll wear the serum. Um, so yeah, I'll wear the serum. And then you have to let it like sit on your skin for like five minutes before applying your moisturizer. So then I'll let it sit on my skin for five minutes and just really just soak in. And then I'll go in with my... Effacla Duo Anti Imperfections Anti Marks Corrective Unclogging Care SPF 30 Moisturizer. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And then with this one, funny story, 
I haven't always been using this skin, this moisturizer since October 2021 up until now. I started using this in November last year because the normal moisturizer that I use was out of stock at both Diskim and Clicks, which is where I buy the skincare range, Diskim or Clicks, and it was out of stock. So I was like, what is the closest thing that I can get to the normal moisturizer that I used to use? And I found this. The previous moisturizer, which is like a normal Effaclar um, hydrating moisturizer, was not as mattifying and dry as this. This one is very mattifying, it's a bit dry. Um, it was very hydrating. It was it was just quite damp on the skin, you know. Um, it was a bit like dampish. Um, and it was a normal one just to hydrate. Whereas this one, it's got SPF 30 and it's got what? Unclogging care, anti marks and anti imperfections. So it's like you're getting the best of both worlds into one like concentrated product. Um, and I like the fact that it had sunscreen in it because um, with sunscreen, if you wear sunscreen by itself, sometimes you just really find that it makes your skin so gray, purplish, whitish, doesn't really blend into your skin, you know? Um, and now you're just looking grayish, purplish, with random white, um, concentrated sunscreen all over your face and it just hasn't like really blended in so sunscreen was really a problem with that and i see a lot of people talking about like oh my gosh guys where can i get sunscreen that actually blends into the skin or maybe like try one that you can spray on your face you know spin spray it so that you don't like look gray and purplish but with um this one i like that because it's got sunscreen in it but then also I've been hearing a lot of people talk about how sunscreen really is the key to glowing skin. It's literally the secret to achieving glowing skin. So, um, although I've always had this sunscreen also by La Roche-Posay, um, Anthelios, SPF 50, Dry Touch Finish Mattifying Effect, I, I didn't always wear it because of that purplish, grayish, whitish effect. Um, but now that I see a lot of people talking about how like sunscreen is the key to glowing skin, I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. And I've been using it for a week, and yeah, I think I like it. I like it, and I'm gonna continue using it. And after my moisturizer, of course, I apply the sunscreen, right? I apply the sunscreen. Um, I will apply sunscreen whether it's <clears throat> sunny. Or gloomy outside i'll just apply sunscreen every single day now um and then if i am leaving the house um i will always and it's super super sunny outside i'll always always wear a straw hat and some sunnies because my eyes are also like sensitive to the sun you know so yeah i'll wear a straw hat and some sunnies um that protects my eyes from the sun so yeah um that's really just my skincare range every single day and i really like it it's so comfortable on the skin um it's just that like if you're gonna be buying it like a discim or clicks i think just look out for like their discount and stuff like that because it's quite a bit pricey i'm not gonna lie especially the serum because it's like 500 rand for the serum and stuff like that so just yeah looking out for like their discounts and stuff like that on the range um what else do i want to talk about oh another thing is that like when i work out and stuff like that i drink a lot of water because especially when i'm doing like high intensity training you run out of breath you know what i mean like you need water and just to stay hydrated so i find that that's also like been having like a healthy impact on my skin um and not just on my body also as a whole you know and then I also after that I drink also a lot of herbal teas. Um, I'll drink peppermint tea because peppermint tea helps with anxiety and it helps me with yeah, it helps me with, with anxiety. And of course it has many other benefits on the body as well. So I drink peppermint tea every single day. And right now I'm drinking chamomile tea, which I believe also has got good benefits for the skin. Um, and the body as a whole because you rest chamomile tea helps you with the rest you know and being able to sleep well especially if maybe if you're insomniac and i'm not a doctor I'm, I'm not a doctor but i'm just saying 
what I've experienced. I'm not saying like I'm not prescribing things here for you, just what works for me. It helps. But to be quite honest, because I wake up at 5 30, um, I sleep at half past eight because I'm already like so tired and worn out for the day, you know what I mean? Like I use up my energy. So I wake up at 5 30, which I believe rest is a very, very important part of just health for your body and for your skin for your hair for everything rest is really important um i feel like that's also really been helping being up at 5 or 30 and 8 30 i'm in bed and i have a good night's rest i have a good night's rest like um i'm not waking up in the morning feeling cranky feeling fatigue feeling like oh my gosh if i could just sleep some more i wake up and i go you know i wake up and i go um, I'm not like my shoulders are sore or my back hurts or this and that. No, my, my, I'm, I wake up mentally alert because you find that especially when I was still in varsity, it didn't matter how many hours of sleep I was getting. I would wake up tired and fatigued out and cranky and just so like, oh, so tired. I need five cups of coffee to get me through this day kind of thing. That's how I used to be in varsity. Like I could sleep five hours or I could sleep 10 hours, but I would be equally tired. It's just something I don't didn't really understand, like why, you know? Um, I just always used to be so tired, but now I'm, yeah, like I wake up in the morning and I'm not feeling cranky, I don't feel fatigue, any of those. I just wake up and I go and I feel fresh, you know, I feel so fresh. Especially when I come back from the gym and I take a shower um, and I make some breakfast, make some coffee and I start, I get ready with my day, I get whatever work that i need to do i get going i feel so mentally alert as well which i feel like could be the effects of working out and stuff i think i'm so mentally alert it's just something that i really really enjoy and then by 8 30 i'm in bed i'm so like out i'm out like a light by 8 30 i'm in bed um and then i wake up following day and stuff like that so yeah that's really that really just encompasses my skincare routine. Um, even when I'm like removing makeup, I'll use makeup wipes. Um, I'll use makeup wipes to remove all of my makeup. And then after that, I'll wash my face with the moisturizer. Um, I will apply my serum, my moisturizer, and my... Yeah, I don't, I don't wear sunscreen at night. So yeah. And then I also use a primer when i'm applying makeup because a primer protects your skin from any harsh makeup products that you might be applying on your face you know you never know what might have a negative effect on your skin so primer is really important because it protects your skin sometimes maybe from like harsh makeup products so i always make primer don't just put your makeup directly on your skin put on a primer it also just makes your makeup last longer and stuff like that so yeah I would love to know what products you guys are using on your skin when you started using them and how's it going and which ones you'd actually like to try out um with yeah like let me know which ones you'd like to try out maybe like i would like to try on masks as long as it's convenient and clean and easy to clean up with masks like, i don't want a messy mask it's gonna be peeling everywhere peeling all over the floor peeling all over the bathroom and caking all of that no like Maybe if it's like a peel of mask, then I'll try it out. I'll give it a try and I'll let you know um, what it's like. But so far, this is my skincare routine and I really enjoy it so far. I like it. Let me know what you guys use. And yeah, any comments, just let me know in the comments section. I really enjoyed filming this video. I've been wanting to film this video. Um, and I'm glad that I did today because I've been disturbed by Eskim's load shedding. So today i was just like it's the day so thank you guys for watching and yeah stay tuned in for the next video bye bye <laughs>